Paul Jack, welcome back to my video blogs, yeah! Today I'm gonna to show you another exercise. I thought I'd show you a really cool, simple, powerful Swiss ball exercise for good general core development that can be used from beginner level all the way to advanced levels or for people with high levels of conditioning. What you're gonna do is just get a Swiss ball Remember the height of the Swiss ball is such that if you sit on the ball, your thigh should be parallel with the ground or up to 10 degrees higher. That would be the right height for exercising for you unless you have someone training you with specific needs. If the ball is too small or too high, it makes it hard to maintain optimal orthopedic alignment. And that's not good when you're doing basic conditioning and general conditioning. When I'm doing advanced training with people, I sometimes use smaller balls or balls that are too big or balls that are over pressurized or under pressurized to force their nervous system to adapt to different circumstances. But in general, the guidelines I just gave you are important for most people. The exercise is quite simple. This is a multi-dimensional core conditioning exercise because it works all through your core and even your back, your quadratus lumborum, your oblique. So it's a simple but comprehensive exercise. So what you do is you just get your knees on the ball. It helps to put your knees in the center of the ball where the circle is just to remember to remind you to move in a circle as I'll show you. Then just get yourself in a comfortable position. Now a beginner would start with their knees quite close to their body and all you do is just make small circles within the range that you can do and still keep your spine stable. If you're going too far out for yourself and your core is not strong enough, your tendency is to fall into hyperextension and you're gonna feel compression in your low back. It'll feel like pressure in your spine. If you feel pressure in your joints like that, you're probably gonna irritate the joints and depending on the health of your spine, you might even pinch a lumbar nerve root and uh, wake up the next day feeling like you got run over by a truck. So the key thing is keep your core active. So you wanna have a little tone in your abdominal wall, especially as you're extending your legs. You can just let your breathing time itself naturally, but as those legs extend further and further back, the lever arm against your core gets higher and higher. So as a general rule, as your legs go back or the lever arm gets longer, you've got to draw in and that tightens the abdominal corset or the inner unit, stabilizing the joints so you don't get faulty movement patterns in there and joint subluxations and unusual compression patterns in there. So again, we're just going to start off with nice small circles and just find your comfortable zone. When you're doing developmental exercise, it's better to use lower intensities and higher reps. So when I'm developing new motor programs for people, I like to use anywhere between 16 and 30 rep sets. And I typically have them stick to that for a good two to four weeks till they've built a new motor program with good form so the brain has a good motor pattern to build off of. In other words, don't try to be a superhero to impress your friends and tell you, have the nervous system development to do it impressively. <laughs> okay, so as we want to push that out a little further, we just extend the legs further. Now, as your legs go out, you turn your body, bring the ball up the side, rotate over, extend out that way, bring the ball around, bring it up, bring it back. So what started off just as a nice, little circle grows not only into a bigger circle but trunk rotation, hip extension, hip flexion, trunk rotation. Now you can work one side like that for reps and then you can work the other side which you can even break and do that so you could do a rotation to this side, X number of reps, pause, take a minute rest, rotation to that side, or you can do 
X number of reps, call it six or eight or 10. This is now more in a strengthening phase. And then immediately do the other side. Just be careful you don't do too many reps on the first side that you can't make that many reps on the other side or you'll keep throwing yourself out of balance. So it takes a little testing to see how much you can handle for total reps in one set. Now you can take the exercise even further by putting your feet further out on the ball, which again lengthens the lever arm. Before I had my shins on the ball, now I bring it out to my toes, which is a lot tougher, so I gotta take a breath, activate my core, draw my legs up. Now, if those of you that are strong enough wanna go a little bit out of the neutral spine, you can draw those legs right up under you. But again, that's a more advanced exercise because now we're training outside of neutral spine dynamics. So you have to be very conscious about what's happening inside. Feel your joints. If you're pushing it to the point that you're getting compression and discomfort in joints, you're just setting yourself up for a setback. So it's not the best idea. Let me get my ball, it's ran away, it's tired. Okay, so that said, I'll demonstrate a few reps of the more high intensity version with a deviation from neutral spine or going more into a fully functional movement pattern. So I'm gonna turn my body over, bring my legs all the way up, roll over, extend back, come back, flex that spine, roll, extend out. Now, you, want, you don't want your head hanging down. I'm talking to you guys, so it's a little tricky. Here's what it looks like when I'm just by myself. Okay, so that's my multi-dimensional core conditioning Swiss ball exercise for today. Now, I would like to share, no matter what level of athletic conditioning you're at, I have awesome DVDs. Whether you're someone that's injured, overweight and out of shape, that would be Swiss ball exercises for better abs, buns, and backs, which is a basic spine rehab program with stages of development for anybody who's basically out of shape or has back problems and wants to build up some functional strength safely. If you think you're ready for more than that, I have Swiss Ball for Athletes, which has multiple progressively harder workouts in it. If you want to get even more fancy dancy, I have a video series called Strong and Stable. Strong, capital N, stable. Showing you how to mix Swiss balls with free weights, cables, and all sorts of things, and even machines for machine lovers. So you can get the both, best of both worlds, the isolation training of machine, but the integrative conditioning of a Swiss ball. And for those of you that wanna master the concepts and are working in the health or exercise fields, I have scientific core conditioning, which is very comprehensive, goes deep into the anatomy, functional anatomy, everything you need to know, assessments, and gets you ready for check exercise coach. And the sister program to that is scientific back training, which gives you all the assessment tools and all the anatomy, functional anatomy, exercises, and things you can do with Swiss balls and many other things with regard to back injuries specifically. So thank you for joining me today. Welcome to heaven. I'm Paul Check. I will see you next time.